I'm a young African woman scientist and I'm here to make a difference. My name is Immaculate Makoko. I uh, come from Busia County and that is where I grew up and uh, even schooled all the way to my high school. Then I joined uh, the Technical uh, University of Mombasa where I did my diploma and later on joined Technical University of Nairobi where I'm now doing my undergraduate in biotechnology. I started working in the field of science uh, about four years ago and I got an interest in science from the time I started knowing things about life. So I joined SIP, which is the International Potato Center in 2013. I do uh, molecular transformation, that is uh, transformation of potato. I am basically within the potato research project, that is against late blight. So we transform varieties of farmer interest, like the Kenyan varieties that we have so far worked on, which I have personally worked on, uh, Tigoni and Shangi. So we have transformed Tigoni and Shangi, which are resistant against late blight. There's still way at the stage of molecular evaluation. We are doing uh, the confined field trials in Uganda for those for the Victoria variety, which is now at, at that level. And uh, what I do is maintaining them within the lab conditions. Then from there, propagate them, multiply them in, in, in big numbers, bring them to the greenhouse where we plant them in pots to get the tubers. Then those tubers is what we send to the field. Then once they are sent to the field, then the, 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 we now evaluate uh, their resistance to late blight against the non-transgenic uh, variety of the same. Once this variety is out there and accepted, of which the farmers are very much willing to embrace it, so it's, it's only a challenge to our regulators to, to pass it. Uh, the goal is to give this product to the farmers and see them benefit from it, save their expenses on uh, the spraying they've been doing, save their health, uh, the, the health risks that are associated with sprays, and even their soil, because every time they keep on spraying this soil, it gets more acidic and more and more acidic, so production goes down. Being a woman scientist in Africa is very inspiring. I, I, I always look up to several women scientists within my own work institution who have gone to greater heights and they inspire you. You want to just grow up and, and, and become even better and get to know much more. And uh, also being a woman scientist, I think maybe the greater challenge would be perception. People might not really believe you that much. They think you don't know enough because, you know, men seem to be, uh, to be received more than women are. So you really have to be at your best. These are my babies, and as a woman, I believe I can feed the world.